real tough opening there. And he hit pretty good there and deserved more. Comes over that with a six. Bernie Murphy will be back. You can count on that. But right now, we're going to say hello to Wayne Stackhouse, making his initial appearance in front of our cameras from Sussex Corner in New Brunswick. That's Fred Kilpatrick's country. Yep, he runs the Sussex Corner Bowl up there. And that is where Wayne Bowl go to. Real nice bowling center. Wayne married to Sharon, has children Kelly 12, Stephanie 9, and Amy who is 3. Mm. Likes to golf a little bit. Is a level 4 referee in hockey. Umpire's softball. Hmm. This guy's an official. You better check the rule book. Oh, nice. Good looking, Dan. Nice backdoor action yeah. on that one. Uh, Wayne, you might be picking up Picking it up uh, at home, you a little bit of a squeak up there, and he's uh, he's checking his shoes, checking the approach. Indication that he's stopping in a hurry up there. Wayne Stackhouse burning a little rubber up on the approach there. When we see smoke, we'll know there's fire. Yeah, got the four horsemen. You see them there? Let's hook them up, make them a little easier. Ooh, oh, missed on the right hand side. Wayne is a member of the Sussex Merchant Bowling Team up in Sussex. The corner bowl just went under, uh, underwent some expansion about a year ago and a real nice bowling center up there. Missed again on the right hand side. You know side. that four horsemen, that's a difficult split, but yeah. if you're a little rusty, then, yeah. uh, then yeah. it's that much more difficult. You've yeah. really got to bear down. Or even if you're a, a big rusty, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> Right now we're looking at Stephen Lacey. He's been here before, and a real good bowler out of Darkman. Oh, my, tough split. He has an interesting shot there. You see the wood. This is, well, we'll see it in a minute. There it is. This is the piece of wood I think you want to work. You want to lay the ball in there and get this wood going in this direction. Oh, oh I came good back shot. And got it. That was a great shot. Watch that one more time. Didn't go deep, I don't know if it was by design, but he made the, well, he certainly made the right shot, brought it back across, and gets them all. Stephen Lacey and his father, Sonny Lacey, who is very well known in the Dartmouth area, working at the Dartmouth Bowler Drome, uh, is in the crowd tonight. One of the real great guys of bowling, Sonny Lacey, and he's watching his son Stephen perform here. A little tough on the mark there, only got four. Stephen's 26 years old. Likes to hunt a little bit. Likes antique cars. But when it comes to bowling, he's... Oh, boy. Bang. Two good-looking stairs. So Stephen Lacey makes Dad Sonny proud. With a couple of marks to open. Back to the top of the order in Billy Cornelius. mentioned a moment ago when Billy was up before that uh, he works at the bowling center in Tadamagush and a lot of people would say well I didn't know there was a bowling center there and that's because it's only been there for about a year. They have a nice facility up there in Tadamagush. Bill bowled for Nova Scotia with the ICBA tournament team in that in Douglastown in 89. Bob, these are darts Cribbage, pool, and softball. And he plays in the umpires. That'd be tough. Especially when you're batting. Well, that might be <laughs> worth good. Good looking ball there. And yeah. manages to pull down the four. Wood coming back to touch on the six. And he's got some backing there. So it's the three, six, and seven for Bill Cornelius. Definitely want to play the right side away from that wood that's up in the top of the plate, just at the very bottom of your screen. Yeah. Bill Cornelius, before the show, was talking about bowling, said last year was by far his best year ever of bowling. This kind of crowns it off. Coming here and uh, getting a chance to bowl in the Belvedere Men's Candleton Bowling Championship. It's great to have him with us. He sits down now, gives way to Bernie Murphy. Bernie opened with a 10, but had a tough six box after that. So he'll want to get it going. Oh, 
making things happen down there. He was on the three pin, but did get a lot of action. Bernie Murphy, pretty serious guy when he's up there bowling, but a lot of fun when he steps off the approach. Just on the right-hand side. Quite a time. On the pin, the object pin that being, but punch straight back through. Talk about faces in the crowd. The guy in the green hat and the yellow shirt just sort of fading out to the left of your screen. That's Gil Duchesne, unofficial mayor of Sackville. <laughs> Great fellow. Well, good action on that ball and some late action to take it on the front pin and leave some superb coverage. Well, we'll get the close-up shot of this. Uh, and uh, Well, there's the pin right there. He should be, but he's got to be perfect right here. He's got to drive that straight back. If he turns it this way, he's going to miss the seven. If he turns it this way, he missed the pin out front. And he's got, got the seven, off, seven the off this kickback. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie Murphy picks up his first mark, that being a spare in the fourth frame. And Wayne Stacko steps up on the approach. Wayne, like Bernie, opened with a 10, then had a six box. Oh, good action there. Look at that. There goes the three, five and the eight in behind with, uh, again, very good coverage. Well, the, the key to this shot is right here. This piece of wood, that's a dandy. If it wasn't there, he's got a bit of a problem, but it should be very quickly gone, and it is. <laughs> Wayne Stackhouse. Again, kind of scraping his feet up. I don't think I've ever remembered hearing a bowler squeal like that. Shoes digging right into the approach. And I'm not so sure if he's having a little bit of a problem with the approach or with the shoes, or that's just the way it is with him. Good shot. That's a strike. Well, I'll tell you, whatever it is, it's working for him right now. Strike on the spare for Wayne Stackhouse. Big back swing. Perfect hit. Back row. There goes the eight. If squealing works for you, do well, it. I'll tell you. Squeaky's shoe gets the majority of the pins? No. <laughs> this is Stephen Lacey on the spare, and he's got a seven count. But he's left the three, six, and the eight. Wood coming back, and it's going to sit, I think, a few inches from the three pin. Yeah, it's rolling back a little to the left. I think he's going to ignore that and try to get on the three, get the ball just to the left or right. Good Great effort. Single pin now. And he's got it right on. Makes it good. Well, Stephen goes to the opposite side now. He's at 41 after 311 over. Look along very nicely. Well, there's no question he's setting the pace here today. Well, this is going to be tough. He's got a tough one here. We get a shot at this one. He only has one chance here, and that's to put this piece of wood here in play. Lay the ball in this area here. Get the ball to kick over. Try to get that wood to turn off to the right-hand side. Stackhouse is on the four horsemen. He's on the strike. Yep. Second ball. And, and counts nine on his strike, does Wayne Stackhouse. And we'll look for his ten. And gets his ten. And he gets it. 